Okay, next we're going to check out track and project templates in Reaper. Now, track templates is one of my favorite features in Reaper, and I really wish it was included in every DAW, as it's so powerful and such a time saver, as you'll see. So here's the situation. We're working on a song, we have a bunch of tracks here, and we just recorded a lead vocal. Now, when working with this artist, we're going to record many songs with them. So we don't want to start off each song having to reset up our vocal sound. If we love the vocal sound we have right now, on this track, with the input set up, to a vocal mic, a monitoring setting, we have some effects on the track, we have a low pass filter, a compressor, a de-esser, and a high frequency boost. And we also have some effect sends. We have a reverb and an echo which are being sent from here. Here's our reverb, and here's the echo. So these two tracks are effects returns. So we really like the sound we have. So as we work with new songs, we don't want to start all over again. And that's where track templates comes in. What we're going to do for this situation is select each track we need. If we just choose the vocal, we're not going to have our reverb and our echo. So let's choose all three. Select them all, go to the track menu, and choose Save Tracks as Track Template. If we select this, a directory opens up where we can save it in a folder that's already created in Reaper called Track Templates. We'll give it a name, and then right down over here are two other options. We can include the track items in the template, which is the vocal audio recording. We don't really want that for our next song. And we could also choose to include envelopes or automation. Again, we're not usually going to need that because the automation for this song isn't going to be the same for the next one. So all we want to save is the vocal track and all its settings, along with our effects returns. So let's save it. And now let's say we're working on another song. Let's open a new project with a bunch of new tracks. And let's say now we're ready for vocals. We don't want to have to start all over again. So we can go to our track menu and choose insert track from template. Then we can choose right here, a great lead vocal. And it automatically adds those tracks. A lead vocal track with our input set the same way. Our monitoring, our effects, low pass filter, compressor, and the rest, along with our sends to our reverb and our echo. And the effects returns right here with our reverb and our echo. All set exactly how we left it. So it's a great starting off point as we work on each song. Let me show you another example. I have another project set up here with live drums bass, guitar tracks, lead vocal, and background vocals. But after we're done with it, we want to work on another song. But we're really happy with how we set up the drums. Again, with our inputs, our effects in each track, and anything else we want to save. So we don't want to start over every time we want to record drums. So what we can do instead is select our drum tracks. And this time we're going to right click which is the same as the menu, and go to Save Tracks as Template. Again, we can save it as Live Drums. Again, we're not going to save our items or the envelopes. And now if we're working on a new song, and we want to start off with Live Drums, just right-click over here, choose Insert Track from Template, and choose Live Drums and it opens up exactly the same. All of our inputs, our volumes, our effects, everything's exactly the same. So it's a lot quicker than starting over. Now there's one other example I want to show you. I have a track in this project set up with some effect sounds. I have a couple of reverse sounds, 
and a loud booming sound. And these are very common effect sounds I like to add to my songs or projects. So rather than dragging them in and losing the volume for them, the effects for them, I like to add them to my projects as is. So we could do this with track templates. Just select it, right click it, save tracks as track template, and we'll name it Effect Sounds. Now, the one thing I want to do different is I want to include the items. Because that's kind of the point of this. Now, if I set up any kind of weird panning or automation, I could include this as well. So let's do that. And now let's save this. Now, if we go back to our first project and we decide we want to add some effect sounds, just select the track before the place we want to put it, right click it, choose Insert Track from Template, and choose Effect Sounds. That's going to import it right here along with the sounds. And if we had some envelopes included, they would be there as well. So that's how the track templates work. It's quite a time saver. Now let's go back to our project with the live drums. So let's say this is our live session, and we're planning on doing many songs set up the exact same way, with the live drums, the bass, a bunch of guitars, vocals, and background vocals. So we're really happy with all of these tracks. Now we could set it up as a track template, but instead, let's set it up as a project template. So when we start our new song, it's going to start off with all of these tracks. Again, with all the volumes, the pans, the effects, and all the inputs. So to start off, let's delete all the audio. We'll select this, hit select all, control A on the PC, or command A on the Mac, and then just delete it. And let's make sure all the items are gone. And they are. Now don't save this yet. We're going to save this as a project template. Go to the File menu and go to Project Templates and choose Save Project as Template. Again, this is very similar to a track template, except it's based on an entire project. So we can name this Live Band Setup. Now, if we kept the audio, we could put it in a directory or we'll copy it but we're not going to bring any audio into this template. Hit save. So now if we close this song and don't save it because we just deleted all the audio. And now if we're ready to start song two, just go up here and instead of choosing new project, go to project templates and choose what we just saved, live band setup. And we choose it. All the tracks open up with all their volumes, their pans, the effects, and so on. So we're ready to start the second song with all the same settings. Again, it's quite a time saver. And we can set up and save many different types of templates, depending on what we're working on. It could be a program project with many virtual instruments or a video project. Once you get it all set up, we could save it as a project template. Now, if you find a template that you want to start off with all the time, we can save it as a default project template. Let me show you how to do that. Let's close this. And let's say that template is how we want to start off every new project. Go to our preferences and go to project. And right over here, we can choose our template. Right now, it's set to nothing. So when we start every new song, it starts off blank. But we can browse to the template we just saved, Live Band Setup, choose this one. And now, every time we open a new project, let's do it here, it opens up to that template. Our live drums, the bass, guitars, and vocals. So if this is how you prefer to work on every single project, just choose it right here. Or you could just choose them as you need them. Delete it from here and just choose them from here. 
Project Templates, and choose the template you want to use. So anyway, that's tracking project templates in Reaper. I hope you learned something, and I hope you use these to work faster and smarter. And let's move on. Mom?